In general, increasing the number of modes should make the results more accurate, and this makes sense intuitively. However, there are rare cases where this is not true in practice. Consider this periodic waveguide brag grading. Using the Mode Convergence Sweep tool and sweeping up to 150 modes in each cell, we can see that the reflection, absolute value squared of S11, seemingly converges by 30 modes, but the results start to show sharp peaks and dips as the number of modes increases. And then above 118 modes, the results are smooth again. What can happen is that as you include more modes, at some point a high order mode is found in one cell which has very little overlap with any modes in neighboring cells. This can lead to large perturbations of the S matrix of the cell interface which also affects the internal and user S matrix results when energy conservation is applied. The S matrix can be perturbed when the energy conservation setting is set to either make passive or conserve energy or if the CVCS subcell method is used. If energy conservation is set to none and the CVCS subcell method is not used, then this problem will not occur. The perturbations in the S matrix cause sharp peaks or dips that can be seen in the S parameter plot from the mode convergence sweep, like we see here. As you further increase the number of modes, a matching mode may be found in the neighboring cell and the plot becomes smooth again. Note that energy conservation will perturb the full S matrix, so even if no power gets coupled into the mode which has no matching mode in neighboring cells, the S parameter results can still be affected. Although this type of effect where you see large perturbations in the S matrix doesn't commonly occur for most devices, we almost always want to use the make passive energy conservation setting so the best practice is to always perform a mode convergence sweep for any device that you're simulating just to make sure that you're getting the S parameter results over a range where the results are smooth. For this particular example, the results in the range between using 19 to 30 modes is almost the same as the results in the range 118 modes and above, but the simulation is faster using fewer modes so you may choose to operate in the range using about 25 modes for further simulations of this device.